What makes the royal family so fascinating to the public? Is it their regal lifestyle, their historic lineage, or perhaps, their intricate family dynamics that capture our attention? Recently, the world was gripped by the announcement of King Charles's illness. This news was met with a wave of public concern and sympathy, a testament to the deep emotional connection that people across the globe feel towards the royal family. No one can deny the shared human experience of worrying for a loved one's health, and in this instance, the royal family is no different. In response to this news, a notable reaction came from across the ocean. Prince Harry, who has made headlines with his decision to step back from royal duties, made a swift decision to return to his homeland. His journey back to the UK, marked by a police escort from Heathrow to London, suggests a coordinated effort between him and the palace. This indicates that his visit was planned in response to his father's health news, highlighting the persistent familial ties that remain despite the well-documented tensions and public scrutiny. As news of King Charles's health spread, a familiar face was preparing for a poignant homecoming. Enter, Prince Harry. Following the announcement, Prince Harry embarked on a journey that was not just geographical, but emotional as well. Leaving behind the sunny landscapes of the United States, he was drawn back to the familiar grey skies of his homeland, the United Kingdom. His arrival at Heathrow was met with a police escort, a testament to his royal status and the gravity of the situation that had beckoned him home. This escort, a journey from the bustling airport through the heart of London, was not a solitary one. It was a journey that, in many ways, was shared with the palace. In the wake of King Charles's health news, the coordination between Harry and the palace was evident, a silent echo of unity reverberating through the well-documented tensions of the past. This was not a spontaneous visit, but rather a calculated response to a personal crisis, underscoring the unbreakable bonds of family that persist, even within the gilded walls of a palace. It was a journey marked by the anticipation of a reunion, a potential reconciliation, and the hope for healing amidst the backdrop of a father's health concerns. In the face of adversity, family ties seem to pull tighter, even for a prince. Amidst the backdrop of King Charles's health concerns, a glimmer of hope for reconciliation appeared. As the royal family grapples with the shocking news of the king's illness, Prince Harry's return home has sparked a wave of speculation and intrigue, particularly surrounding a brief, yet significant meeting between father and son at Clarence House. In the heart of London, within the hallowed walls of the royal residence, a four to five minute encounter unfolded. A private dialogue, away from the prying eyes of the world, yet bearing the weight of the world's expectations. This meeting, brief as it may have been, is a testament to the profound significance of personal relationships amidst the grandeur of royal life, and the potential for healing even in the most strained of relationships. This encounter, seemingly orchestrated by courtiers, was a rare moment of father-son conversation. It was a moment that offered a glimpse into the private lives of a family that is perpetually under the public gaze. A moment that is speculated to have been filled with hope, understanding, and perhaps even a touch of nostalgia. The importance of this meeting cannot be overstated. In the midst of public duties and familial tensions, it is these personal interactions, these private conversations, that form the bedrock of familial ties. It is these moments that remind us that beneath the crowns and titles, they are, at their core, a father and a son. This interaction may be a testament to the complexities and challenges of navigating familial relationships within the royal context. In the grand scheme of royal life, it is these personal moments that truly shape the narrative of this fascinating family. The world watched with bated breath as Prince Harry returned home, underscoring our collective fascination with the royal family. This fascination is not only about the opulence and tradition that the monarchy represents, but also about the human stories behind the royal titles. The media coverage of Harry's return was intense, with every move scrutinized, every gesture analyzed. The public was eager to see a narrative of reconciliation and duty unfold, a narrative that highlights the complexities of being part of a family that is always in the public eye. The themes of reconciliation, duty, and the delicate balance between personal and public life are not new to the royal family. They have always been part of their narrative, 
and Harry's return has brought these themes to the forefront once again. Amidst the backdrop of King Charles's health concerns, the hope for private father-son conversations and the speculated courtier interventions illustrate the ongoing public intrigue with the royal family's internal dynamics. The royal family, like any other, has to navigate the complexities of familial relationships. But unlike most families, their personal matters often intersect with their public roles. The challenge they face is striking the right balance between addressing personal matters and fulfilling their public duties. The fascination with the royal family is not just about their royal status, but about how they navigate these challenges. In the end, it's the human stories behind the royal titles that captivate us, reminding us that beneath the crowns and the palaces, they too are a family, facing life's trials and tribulations together. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video, King Charles's Cancer Diagnosis, A Royal Battle, 